Get you a check of the weather every 10 minutes with KIMT Storm Team 3 meteorologist Sean McAday. Sean, how's our week ahead looking weather-wise? Well, today and tomorrow, these are the two days you really want to be weather aware. Wednesday on, hey, it's looking much better. Bit breezy, but much better. Right now, though, out the door, things are wet. It rained a lot in some spots this morning. I'll have a look at how much it rained coming up. I'll look at some numbers, but be mindful first of the rain which has fallen and the rain which still could fall. We're already seeing it fall in some spots. Not right at the moment in Rochester, a bit of a break. We had a lot of that this morning. It's coming down pretty good in Mason City. You checked in with me 10 minutes ago and you could see clear skies in the distance in Mason City. I don't see any of that anymore. The rain has fallen. 69 out the door in, uh, in, in Mason City. Just brain jacket, please. I'm going to say no umbrella. I'm going to say rain jacket if you can make that choice. And the reason being, if we see a thunderstorm take hold again from these showers, which is possible, it's still quite warm and humid in the area. If that happens, there's been a lot of cloud to ground lightning so far this morning, and I don't want anyone getting struck by lightning. That's why I say rain jacket, not umbrella. Does that make sense? Could already, already be starting to see a thunderstorm develop just north of Mason City. This is moving in towards Manly and Northwood as we speak. Some heavier rain showers there uh, just between Cerro Gordo County and Worth County. Some other showers in southern Minnesota, eh, those have really moved into Wisconsin. Still one little storm uh, really on the south side of Winona. So that's that's going to continue to move through parts of Winona County. They just moved through Rushford. A couple more showers are possible even in southern Minnesota this morning, moving in out of North Iowa and out of the southwest. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, I was literally about to say I wouldn't be surprised to see a lightning strike in North Iowa. And then I, it happened. Uh, th oh, there's another one. Okay, you see that storm is getting stronger just north of Mason City. This is moving in towards Northwood pretty soon. If it holds it to together, which it, it will, that's moving into St. Ansgar likely with, within the next five to ten minutes with that heavier showers and lightning. And if that holds together after that, that might be towards Austin and other areas closer to Mower County. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that for you. I'm tracking the radar live this morning. Mid 60s in southern Minnesota, warmer in North Iowa. That's why there's still potential for some thunderstorms popping up from these showers in North Iowa. There's just that much energy to get going. So be mindful of this chance. We could see more on and off showers and storms even through like 2 o'clock this afternoon. The best chance was this morning, but there's still chances going into the rest of the day. But then after 2 o'clock, sky's clear. It's 80 degrees. It's actually really nice outside. Here's the latest computer model data. This is brand new. Uh, for this morning, you can see still some scattered showers and thunderstorms in North Iowa, lighter raindrops in southern Minnesota by around 2 o'clock. Most of it is clear, maybe some closer to La Crosse, but most of our area is clearing out. But tomorrow, things change. Here's a look at tomorrow's forecast. We start off in the 60s. You're going to need the AC on overnight. I'm just being honest. Still, that humidity is here all throughout the night into tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, we're back in the low 80s. By the way, today is 80 degrees. I don't know if I pointed that out, but it was on the forecast. And then tomorrow afternoon, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, storms moving into I-35. And as they do so, they get stronger. Heavy winds, some lightning to boot. There is even an off chance for severe weather to be mindful of tomorrow afternoon. So tomorrow afternoon, that cold front swings through. But that clears away the rest of the week. And if you want to get outside... I'm only seeing sunshine from Wednesday onward into the weekend. It will be beautiful conditions to get outside, albeit a bit breezy at times. So pretty nice. That's good news. Thanks, Sean.